it's Dina, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another lug video. This video was requested by Jamie, who wanted to see a review and comparison of the Shimmy versus the Camper 3. Um, and I added the uh, Wings and the Camper SE. So we're gonna look at four different bags, kind of side by side by side and, and compare and contrast them. So the four bags I have grabbed, we have here first the Wings SE in Bloom Black. And I grabbed that because look at the shimmy. Size-wise, they are definitely in the same category. And obviously this is a black shimmy. I wanna say, well, hang on, we'll get to the title of the black. What kind of black? Midnight Black. There you go. Obviously, Bloom Black, Midnight Black. And then looking at the two campers, which are slightly bigger actually, we have the Camper 3 in Botanical Multi and the Camper SE in bloom black again so let's look at these sort of small to large if you will in order the first is the wings se and this one is like i said in bloom black i have not used a lot of these bags yet so take that for a grain of salt i i mean it's not that i have zero experience with bags but because i bought so many loved ones so close together yeah but I still can assess side by side, so hopefully it will answer any questions you might have. Um, the first is the wings, like I said. So it has this flap on it. It is a magnetic flap. Um, I do prefer that over the magnetic snaps. I just, I really like the ease of access. Just, you don't have to find the snap to get it in the right place. It just, bam, finds its own home. Um, above that you have your cell phone pocket which is a vertical pocket actually so even though this is more of an east-west bag it does have a vertical phone pocket and my 6s plus fits easily within it and snaps the magnet no problem so inside the flap you do have three card windows and the opening is on this side so you're not just gonna dump them out while you're walking around um, but you could put pictures you could put cards you could put whatever you want up there Inside the flap, you actually have two pockets. You have a horizontal zipper, and that pocket is just a pocket. It's open, wide open, and it is RFID. So if you wanna put your wallets in here, that would be a great place to put it. Um, unfortunately, I didn't grab my wallets, but I do have my purse on the table, and the current wallet I am using is the Handspring the full size handspring in bloom black. So let's see how that fits in this pocket. Because if this fits, then all the other wallets will fit too, <laughs> basically. And I do think the tandem will fit as well. So this fits perfectly with the strap on. There still is a little bit of space, easily zips in there. Um, you do kind of have to just tilt it in, but that's fine. So there you go. Then the front pocket actually is an insulated pocket in this bag, which is great because if you want some insulation, maybe you have to carry around some medications or maybe you're like me and you'll live in a really hot area or cold area, maybe you wanna keep something warm. I don't know, it could be that way too. Um, or just, you know, if you don't need insulation, it's still a great pocket. Hi Kelly, come on. She's so very helpful. Ah, oh, not on the table, not on the table. Ugh, she looked on the chin. <laughs> All right, anyways, that's the front. On the side, you do have I'll try and tuck this in for a second. On the side, you do have a water bottle pocket. This one is two snaps and you open it up. So when you're not using it, it is tucked away nicely. And I did grab a 12 ounce chuggy in black large dot just to see how it fits. It does fit very nicely within that pocket and it'll stay pretty good. And then I also grabbed the newer version, which is 18 and a half ounces. And this one has the new tops on it. This currently has the, the straw top, but there's two tops that come with it. I really do like the new tops. And I do hope that they start selling these separately, not just with the new Huggies. But anyway, just because I have enough Huggies already, but water bottles, I'll still buy. But this one is a little bit bigger around, and so that's why I brought out the second one just to show, yeah, it's generously sized. It'll actually fit even bigger than that. Although I'm not sure you really want to carry around a giant water bottle on your hip, but that's okay. On the back, there's another pocket. It has a zipper. And in this pocket, you have a fleece lined cargo pocket with elastic. And then you have two pen slots. And then you have nothing on the other side. 
just a nice pocket. And it does cover the whole back wall of this. So you could put this wallet in there very, very easily. It has plenty of room to spare. And um, even though it's not RFID, the wallet is, so you're still protected. And while we're talking about pockets and pouches, here is a large runway envelope. This is in a two-piece set. You can see I have this one pretty well stuffed. It has all of my tech, you know, external batteries, a flashlight, my multi-tool card, etc. And I'm just gonna put that in that back pocket and see how it fits pretty easily and very nicely. It comes up to about there, so there's about this much room on top. So here, there we go. So that fits great right there. Now, getting to the inside of the bag, it's a zippered closure. It's a recessed zipper top there, but this top is a flap, so it doesn't come to a full point. It comes up like this, which means you have a little bit of extra capacity in the vertical there. On the inside, you have a privacy zipper on the back and two cargo pockets on the front. And that is it. There is no key bungee in this bag. Let me make sure I'm not making that up. I didn't miss it somewhere. Yeah, no key bungee in this bag. Okay. So, Wings SE in Bloom Black. The last thing to show is the bottom, and that's where we will start for the comparison to the Shimmy SE. The Shimmy, like I said, is very similarly sized. It is not the same size, but it is pretty close. See the bottoms of shimmy is just a little bit wider in this direction, but pretty much the same in this direction here. Um, height wise, the shimmy is also taller, so you can see that. Um, so there you go. Now let's look at the shimmy. Oops, sorry, strap. All right, so the shimmy is very similar, except there is no flap. You have a magnetic pocket here and in this pocket, you do have a key fob. And um, so what you have is the loop that's on the bag end, and then you have the actual clip on there. So you have a free keychain essentially that comes with your bag. Um, I really should take all these out and put them on the keychain in the closet so I know <laughs> where to use them. But anyway, it's in there and this is a magnetic pocket. So this one does not have um, that phone pocket, that traditional magnetic phone pocket. You certainly could put your phone in here, but for me this is a bigger pocket so I might use it for a pouch instead because that's easy access and definitely fits. Or my wallet perhaps. Now this pocket is not RFID, but in front of it you have two pockets. You have the arched pocket, which is a single zipper on this one, on the wings, it was a double zipper. Here you have a little bit of a built-in wallet. You have a soft line cargo pocket here, so that could be your sunglasses or your phone. And then on the opposite side, you have six card slots, three and three on the front. And this pouch is RFID, there's the tag right there. So if you wanna use a built-in wallet, great. If you don't, and you just wanna put your wallet in there, I, I go lay down, it's just so helpful. Um, there you go. It fits right nicely inside there. Okay. I should grab more wallets next time. Sorry. Um, okay. Now, if I have my sunglasses in here, I do think the wallet would still fit because this pocket does have quite a little gusset to itself and it's its own space there. The only thing it shares space with is this front pocket. So pocket on pocket, if you will. And this one is fleece lined. For me, since my phone is my quick access item, I most likely will put my phone right there and it fits very nicely. Um, you can't drop it straight in, but you just tilt and it drops right in. So fleece line pocket there. And because that pocket shares space with the pocket behind it, for sure for me, I would put the flat item in the front. Just lessons learned, packing, love bags. Um, yeah, there you go. And then on the back, it has a zipper pocket, just like it does on the wings. There's no organization in this pocket. Inside the bag, you have very similar, you have two cargo pockets on the back this time and a clear pocket on the front. There you go. Okay, so that is the shimmy versus the wings. Now, starting at that same place, moving on to the Camper 3. Now, the Camper 3 is a little bit bigger bag, so I would call the shimmy and the wings as maybe a medium and Stepping up to the camper will be a large. That's just my subjective opinion. 
Um, but here you can see it is bigger and it does have plastic feet. So looking at this ends aligned, you can see the Camper 3 is two to three fingers wider. And it is a little bit, just slightly thicker in this direction as well. And it's definitely taller. So let's put it front to front here. And you can see there's the taller and the wider. Okay, so put the shimmy aside now. Moving on to the Camper 3. On this one, it's a different style of bag. The straps are not removable in this one and they are removable on this one. But either way, they're adjustable. You can carry it as a shoulder or crossbody, your choice. Um, this one has the phone pocket again. And it's, it's a horizontal phone pocket this time. So there you go. It could, it could still be a vertical. I think they could have done a vertical because the bag is quite tall. But anyways, either way works. Then you have two zipper pockets on the front. Very smooth zippers, I just love it. And these ones are gray, which matches really nicely with the pack. I just like this colors a lot. So this first pocket is RFID. So this is the upper of the two zippers on the front. It's RFID and quite large. So I can easily fit my wallet right in there and I still have, you know, about the space between the zippers on top. The wallet sits about right there. So that's great, but here's the thing. These two front pockets, actually the three if you count the phone, these three pockets share space. They do not have their own separate gussets. So if you put something thick in one of these, then it's gonna eat into your interior space and into each other. So even with just the wallet in there, you can already see that it's pushing a little bit into my clear pocket space. So you, it's a trade-off. If you fill these a lot, then your interior is gonna be less capacity and vice versa. Um, but that being said, if I put my wallet there, have my phone here, I can still put things in the front pocket here. And for me, that is my sunglasses. So it is a soft lined, yeah. So the phone can either go here in the front or up in the top. So I, I do my sunglasses and phone, one or the other. And let me take my wallet out so I don't lose it. That would be bad. <laughs> All right, so that's the front. And then on the back, there is a zipper pocket and a little bit different than the other two, see how the zipper went all the way across? This one is a smaller pocket. It is the full depth, and it does have a key bungee inside of it. But this pocket appears not to be tethered, so it actually turns entirely inside out. I kinda don't like that, I wish it was tethered. I was, oh, the good thing is, I guess, if you spill crumbs in there, you can dump them out. There you go. Um, but that pocket there, so yeah, I would just put my keys there. That's just probably how I do it. On the sides, you have nice big cargo pockets, very generously sized as well, so you can put your chuggies, let's make sure both of them do fit. Indeed they do, um, although it doesn't go quite all the way down very well, just because of the shape of it. So it fits, it's plenty secure, but just a little bit of a thought there. Okay. The nice thing about this strap is that it's a little bit wider. There's no pad and it's not removable, but it is wider. So there you can see the comparison side by side. Yeah. All right. Now, one other thing before we go to the inside of this bag, this is what I call the secret pockets. I like secret pockets. No, so right here on the end, you can see the way that the strap is sewn onto the bag, which is pretty robust. It's not just gonna rip off or anything like that. But between the bag and the zipper there and the handle, you have this little pocket, essentially. And that is a perfect place to store masks or gloves or hand sanitizers. And that's in fact what I do there. It's a nice little size pocket. Sorry, I'm suddenly sweating. <laughs> it's not that hot. I mean, it's warm day here in Tucson, but anyway. All right, so inside the bag, it's kind of like, I wanna say kind of like the double dutch, but you have here, you have a clear pocket with a gusset on the side here. So you can see it has a little extra space to it. Next to that, you have a double slip. So slip and slip. The back one there is soft lined. For me, that's my sunglasses pocket more than likely. But that means you actually have three soft line pockets because you have the front, the top phone pocket, and then the interior cargo pocket as well. 
Then inside the bottom slip, sorry, I'm not going to see too well. Here's the top slip, here's the bottom. Inside there you have two pen slots as well. So that's the back side. On the opposite side, you have a full length clear pocket. And that is the Camper 3. Again, that's Botanical Multi. It's the only thing I have in this pattern and I really, really like it. I mean, I have other things in Botanical Black, but this is the only one in this color. I love the teals. Teals and grays, very nice. All right, and lastly, we'll look at the Camper SE. So Camper to Camper, they are basically the same size and basically the same layout. You have two zipper pockets on the front plus a foam pocket, and on the back you have a zipper pocket. On the SE, the zipper pocket is a little bit wider, as you can see there. Also, the 3 has no quilting, and the SE has quilting on both the front and the back. So, looking at this one, this is in bloom black again. Um, all the same features. So this front pocket is soft lined. The second pocket is RFID. Then you have your phone pocket. Inside is the same. Except on this one, you have a key bungee in the inside of the bag instead. And it's a little bit mo more robustly sewn on there. It's not on a loose lining that pulls out. But key bungees are cool. But otherwise the inside is the same. You have your big clear zipper on the front. On the back, you have your double slips with pen slots in the bottom, soft line on the top, and your clear on the side. Like I said, the back pouch is bigger. It still has no organization, but because the opening is a little bigger, it is a little bit easier to put things into, including your wallet. So again, that pocket's not RFID, but there you go. You could do that. I wonder if this large runway envelope will fit in there. Um, yeah, you kind of have to squish it in. It would fit maybe better if it wasn't so full. Um, because it's a tight fit, I wouldn't put it there, just FYI. Okay, so that is the Wings versus the Shimmy versus the Camper 3 and SE. And if you have any further questions, please do let me know. Thank you very much, Janie, for the request. And I will see you again right after this for another Lug handbag lineup. Bye for now. Washi washi.